Hey, uh, so this is just a quick video on tree ID. So I moved up to Northern California and I'm getting used to the trees up here. I know a bunch of them, but I came to this little park here and let me show you what I found, which is pretty cool. And just a little 360. This is just a small little park. The variety of trees that were planted here is pretty amazing. Let me show you what I got. Um, I'll show you the trees, but I'm going to show you the, the leaf samples I got from them. Okay, so this is a variety of oaks, and this is just, I mean, in this in this one little park here. So we got a a pin oak, a red oak black oak uh, California black oak a uh, valley oak a blue oak and this is a coast oak or coast live oak and then we got a sycamore there's a couple sycamores in here uh, narrow leaf ash alder uh, a couple loblolly pines of all things and incense cedar redwood and this is the find that i find most interesting is this guy at first glance you'd think it was a cedar but then when you look at it it's this guy right here this is a giant sequoia and it's probably 48 dbh there's another little guy but they're like only 20 feet tall maybe 30 and they're short and wide i mean that's it it's it's a little short and it's super tapered both of them I just found that was pretty interesting so anyway there you got a redwood there's a there's a couple of pines uh, sycamore and those all along the front there are the um, valley oaks that's a little alder right there. Uh, the red pine, or the red, I might mess up the names. Um, red oak. And then there's right in this corner, the bigger one. And then there's a little guy hiding right there. Those are two little black oaks. Um, this is the ash. One of the, I don't say key ID, but uh, an ID for the ash is these clusters of scoopy whip tail branches. And way on the other side, there's a whole line of them. You can kind of see them right through there of the red oaks and the pin oaks. The only thing not in this park, but across the street are some... Uh, black walnuts right there on the corner it's pretty cool yeah and all the trees seem to be pruned pretty well they're not over pruned or lion tailed they kind of just let them grow and trim the dead out and it's a good representation of you know i think a well pruned tree letting the tree be a tree without over pruning it well, this guy's a little messy but they're not, it's not overly done. I mean, there is one redwood that's topped way over there. It's only topped like 10 feet off the ground. So there must have been something wrong with it. But they just left it, you know. It's still growing. Probably won't grow very tall, but... Anyway, one of the things... Uh, I don't know where my book went. But here it is. This guy is a great field guide 
The only thing I wish books like this would have was a like a young, medium, and mature tree. Um, and it's not all inclusive of all the trees because you know, the loblollies aren't in there, but I found that anyway. Um, you know, red oak's not endemic to this area, but I found it anyway. Anyway, uh, point being is I wish there was a, a book like this, which is great, but what I would like is um, more, more information on the types of soils that they like to live in, um, their root flare, like what they look like underground, whether they come in contact with buildings, whether they'll lift them or move around them. Uh, if, if you plant the tree after the building or if you do damage to the root system, you know, uh, do they have a lot of close to the surface roots or deep roots, things like that. Um, the typical pH, uh, common diseases. I mean, this has some of that. Uh, types of conks that you'd find on them if a tree is diseased, uh, what type of bugs attack it. Uh, and then another thing is what happens when you cut a branch. Like certain branches are like the cedar can be really bendy, whereas sycamore is uh, more snappy, you know, and that affects the type of cuts and pruning cuts when you do uh, tree work. Um, anywho, I just found this pretty incredible, you know, everything from a mini giant sequoia to redwoods to pines to alders and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six different oaks in this one little park, so. If you get a chance to look around a park and check out the trees and, you know, if you're a tree nerd, you're constantly looking at trees. And I, I like to be able to identify as much as possible. Anyway, uh, hope that helps and catch you guys later.